So within the first Descendant, the best weapons in the game are those ultimate variants. Today guys, I bring you a complete guide on how you unlock and get the blue beetle. How's it going guys? My name's DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the blue beetle is an ultimate scout rifle, but it takes a ton of grind for you to get and unlock this weapon. You have to farm multiple materials for research purposes to unlock this weapon. Now this guide will show you everything you need to know and do in order to unlock the ultimate weapon, but please do keep in mind, the amorphous material patterns I suggest you using in this video are the easiest way for you to do this, but there are other methods using different amorphous material patterns that you can farm for to unlock particular blueprints, but those require literal end game builds where defeating bosses such as the Moltrum Fortress boss on hard are required for you to do so. Now although the hard route will improve those drop rates for certain things, the video guide for you today is the much, much easier option for all players to do, to a point of where if you've just unlocked that hard mode, in other words, completed the game's story, you can fully take advantage of doing this. But at the end of the day, if you're at a point where you can farm and get those harder amorphous material patterns, and when it comes to unlocking and getting the blueprints, be my guest and do that. But in regards to the other materials used, don't worry, today I'll showcase the best farms for every single material you need for this weapon. Okay, so when we come to the research vendor within Albion and we check out the blue beetle, we can see the research material requires four things. Now, each of these in particular things also require certain materials for you to craft these individual things. Now, the four things we need of rule before we can actually research a blue beetle are the uh, blue beetle polymer synxatium, I believe that's pronounced. You also need the blue beetle synthetic fiber, the blue beetle nanotube and the blue beetle blueprint now first things first to actually craft the blue beetle polymer sinks a tm you need superfluid flectorite and node ion particles as well as the blue beetle polymer sinks a tm blueprint so let's get into it guys with this one and first things first we have the super fluid so the best place to do this guys is within sterile lands on the ironworks outpost area this is the right hand side now once you load in here guys you can use that scan feature to scan containers run around and open them up there are plenty here just run around for like literally 30 seconds you'll find a few once you've opened these up guys you can simply then fast travel to another area then fast travel back here and rinse and repeat this process until you have as many as you need now in regards to the flectorite the best farm I know of is within the White Knight Gulch Observatory area. Run around this area here guys, scanning for those containers. There are a couple near that spawn point. Simply grab them, open them up, and then once you've done and opened them up, fast travel to another area, and simply come back here. Rinse and repeat until you have as many as you need. Okay, so what about the anode iron particle? Well, this guy is, in my opinion, the best place to do this is within the Haggis mission of the Deep. Digger. This is the far left side in the corrupted zone area. Now here you can get between 3 and 5 every 5 minutes. It just depends on how fast you can run this mission. So what about the blue beetle polymer Sansa TM blueprint? Well the easiest way in my opinion to do this is by using the amorphous material pattern 10 at the void interceptor boss stunning beauty on that normal mode. But firstly you need to actually get the amorphous material pattern 10. Now this is an item you can farm with a 100% drop rate from the unknown laboratory on sterile lands within the classified area. Again, it's got a 100% drop rate. So let's get to this mission guys, get through it and get as many of these as you want. Now once you have this item, you then need to go to the stunning beauty uh, void boss. Now once you defeat her, use this material within the reconstructed device and grab your chance. Now I will state it's only a chance that you will get this blue beetle polymer sensitivity and blueprint. So yeah, keep that in mind. You may have to do this multiple times, people. But yes, once you have all these required materials, you can now craft or research the Blue Beetle Polymer Sansa TM, which will now take you two hours to indeed research. Okay, so let's now move on to the Blue Beetle Synthetic Fibre. So this, again, consists of four individual materials for you to actually craft this specific material. First things first, we have the semi-permanent plasmas. 
Now to get these guys, go to the team before area on Vespers and simply just farm crates as you do. So load in, run around using that scan button, open up those crates, those chests, those munition boxes and get as many of these as you need and you are good here. So what about the shape memory alloy? Well here guys you want to go to the corrupted zone on Hagius. Again, load in, run around, scan, farm. When, when you've opened all the ones in the nearby vicinity, you can simply fast travel to another area, come back, rinse and repeat until you have as many as these as you need. <laughs> so what about the synthesized artificial biometal? Well, the best way to get these guys is on Agna Desert by doing the Zone Recon mission with the Vermilion Waste area. Here guys, you get around 6 per run. I think it's a chance, but I think it's a big chance you get these. So come here guys, do the Zone Recon mission. It's quite, quite simple to be honest. Take you about 30 seconds to do so. Once you've done it though, you can simply fast travel to another area then fast travel back here and rinse repeat until you have the 25 that you need here guys. Okay, so lastly within this section here, we have the Blue Beetle Synthetic Fiber Blueprint. Now the easiest way in my opinion to do this is to defeat the Dead Bride Void Intercept Battle and then use the Amorphous Material Pattern 25, which you can farm from the Defend Albion Resource Special Operation on Echo Swamp. Getting to around 10 has a 50% drop chance which I will say playing on hard or normal doesn't seem to make any difference here at all. So clear out these rounds. I will state rewards will multiply with chances too. So the further up you go within these rounds, you get more of a chance. But again, aborting at around 10, uh, having a 50% chance of getting the specific material here you need, the amorphous material pattern 25, and restarting is probably the easiest way of doing this. Because after around like 15, it gets stupid hard, it really does. But yes, once you have this guys, you then want to go on to defeat the Dead Bride on normal by the way, and then use this amorphous material pattern 25, trying to get that blueprint. But good luck with that. So once you have all the materials here, you can now craft the Blue Beetle Synthetic Fiber, which again will take you two hours of research, people. Okay, so now we move on to the Blue Beetle Nano Tube. And again, it requires four individual materials for you to craft this Blue Beetle Nano Tube. So first things first, we have the Metal Accelerant. So as mentioned within the Stereo Lands Ironworks Outpost farm earlier, for those super fluids, this same farm can be used to get this material too. So within Stereo Lands, the Ironworks Outpost right hand side, use this feature, find containers, run around, open them up, and you'll get plenty. Once you have, you can fast travel to another area, come back and repeat until you have as many as you do indeed need, guys. Okay, so next up we have the Monomolecular Extractor. Best place to get these is within Agna Desert, the Vermilion Waste. Drop down this hole right here, as you see me doing on screen now, and farm these what can possibly be four containers within this small vicinity. Once you've done this though, fast travel to another area, come back, rinse and repeat until you have as many as you need. Okay, so next up guys, we have the Compound Carbon Activator. The best place to do this guys is within Vespers, it's the calling of the Descendant Shelter Mission, this is within the Timber 4 area. Now the first elite you will come to about 45 seconds in drops these, so it's probably best you, I don't know, you can complete the mission, it isn't long at all, but he's the only guy I know of in this mission who drops this specific material, so I'll farm it how you can guys. Okay, so next up and lastly for this particular part, we need the Blue Beetle Nanotube Blueprint. So to get this guys, it's well, as simple as this. To do this guys, we firstly need the Amorphous Pattern 19. So let's get this first. Okay, so within Vespers, within the Team Before area, the special up where you have to neutralize the Void Experiment. Now here guys, getting to a wave 12 gives you a 50% chance of getting this very item. But the more you go, uh, I mean you finish more wave intervals, you have more chances of getting this Amorphous Material Pattern. So yeah, do what you want to do guys, I mean, get into a wave 12, it's so so quick, but you farm this how you want, but you probably want a few of these, I won't lie to you. But once you have that amorphous material pattern of 19, you then need to defeat the executioner on normal, and then use this pattern to try and get that blue beetle nanotube blueprint, and good luck with that. But once you do, and you have all the said materials we just mentioned, to craft the Blue Beetle Nano Tube, head back to the research vendor and do so. Again, this research takes you two hours. 
And then lastly guys, you need the Blue Beetle Blueprint. Now to do this, you firstly want to get yourself the Amorphous Material Pattern 23. This is easiest to obtain from the Chapel Mission on Echo Swamp. Now it is a 100% drop rate chance when you complete the mission. But once you do indeed have this guys, you then need to take on and defeat the Dead Bride again on normal and then using this Amorphous Material Pattern. It's only a 3% drop chance, so it's super, super rare. So I do suggest you do farm that chapel mission on Echo Swamp a plenty. So you get plenty of those amorphous material pattern 23s. Because again, you're probably going to need a few of them with a 3% drop chance. But again, once you have them, head to the Void Intercept Boss of Dead Bride. Use these upon defeating her. And hopefully, guys, you get that blueprint. But good luck to you. Now, once you eventually do get that blue beetle blueprint, you can now, guys, fully complete your research, which will take you four hours to do so. But upon those four hours timing up, you now get this ultimate scout rifle, the blue beetle. Again, this is a complete guide on how you unlock the blue beetle scout rifle ultimate weapon within the first descendant. Again, like I said, there are quicker ways of getting blueprints via getting the harder to obtain amorphous material patterns. But still at the end of the day, the rest of the materials you will still have to farm that I've mentioned today. So good luck in doing that. But there we have it guys for another video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.